as president, I intend to work with you to write the next chapter in the story of American innovation. That's part of the reason why I'm running for president of the United States. To seize this moment, we have to ensure free and full exchange of information. And that starts with an open internet. I will take I will take a back seat to no one in my commitment to network neutrality. Because once providers start to privilege some applications or websites over others, then the smaller voices get squeezed out and we all lose. The internet is perhaps the most open network in history and we have to keep it that way. What's up gamers, it's your boy Godhand. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. Hope everything is well. Well as well as can be. Uh, before I start, I want to give a couple shout outs to everybody that's been sharing my videos. Guys, you are amazing and I love you. Thank you so much for sharing the videos, spreading around my channel. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. You're awesome. Um, we're going up near 400 subscribers, which when you just start your channel is a lot. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I uh, also need to give a shout out to Tome, Tome OG. He has a YouTube channel and uh, we played a couple custom games together, um, just like one on one stuff, and uh, he whooped my behind. <laughs> so I said I'd give him a shout out, so here it is. And uh, check it out, and check out his channel, sorry. Um, he does uh, sniping mainly stuff, um, I think it was. Um, but uh, yeah, I have his channel in the description. Check him out. Guys, what I want to talk to you today is um, on the recent decision uh, by the FCC, sorry, the FCC to allow in, uh, telecom companies um, to <laughs> to give uh, preferential service to uh, paying customers that pay for faster service like Facebook um, and, uh, and different websites and also to charge websites to uh, to, to give I'm sorry to have prefer preferential service to their customers this is a huge blow if not the killing blow to what we call net neutrality I spoke on it before and guys, this is terrible. This is bad news. And this is something that a lot of has a lot of people, including myself, very, very upset. Now, as you saw in that opening clip, we have Obama there, you know, our knight in shining armor, our, our hope and savior, you know, change and hope, yeah, yeah, all that. Um, talking about how he was gonna protect it. He wasn't gonna let anybody stand in his way. Well, where are you, Obama? Where are you? We need you. You see this going on, you know what's going on. The guy that you personally put in charge of the FCC has decided to screw us over. So come on, don't let anybody or anything step in your way. Help us. Help the people of America. The people that quote unquote elected you. Where are you? Of course, nowhere to be found. And it's, I'm, I'm, guys, don't take this as me just getting on Obama. This is every politician that is, was, and will be. This is government efficiency, all right? These guys are not here to help us. Tom Wheeler was never going to pass something that didn't expressly, expressly help the people that he used to work for. If you don't know, Tom Wheeler used to be the chief lobbyist for the, for the, for the telecom companies. He was the guy that went to uh, politicians in Congress and the president and tried to, and, and got, not tried, he got legislation and laws passed that helped his, his, uh, his employers. Now he's the head of the FCC. What did you think was going to happen? This was always the plan. This was always going to be the outcome. And President Obama isn't going to do a damn thing to change it because he knew this was going to happen. Guys, politicians don't work for us, all right? That's a fairy tale. That was something that happened a long, long time ago, if it happened at all. I've never, there was, you can count on one hand every politician that is expressly out to help the American people. And you will not use all your fingers on that hand. That's the reality of the situation, and that's what's happened today. And it's not even a thing where I'm, I'm angry because, well, I'm, 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 I am angry because this happened, and this is something to be angry about, but it's not just that. The anger that, that, that I'm feeling right now comes from the blatant disregard for your average American. For you, for me, for the way that these people can just, just brush us aside, just, just completely ignore the will and what the people need for their corporate interests because that's exactly what this is. Look at education in this country. Education in this country is so messed up and so terrible and, and so just abysmal because it, 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 
it helps corporations schools and universities are corporations they're for profit and it is it, it helps them so much to have these high crazy stupid dumb tuitions that people cannot pay for that they have to go into incredible debt to pay for if the government stopped giving out loans then they would have to lower their prices but the government promises to to, to give us our money at extremely crazy <laughs> ridiculous rates give us our money at crazy ridiculous rates just so that this can happen and that is why it, it, it's happening there may be other reasons but that's the big reason Look at hospitals in this country. Hospitals are a, a disgrace. You have to go into crazy amount of debt. And God forbid you get sick with a cold or something and have to go to the hospital. They hand out debt more than they hand out cures. Oh my gosh. And the VA? The VA? Now, you, if you hear any politician talking about uh, uh, veterans, you know, they, they put them up there with Jesus. They're, they're supposed to be these these <laughs> these people that get all this honor and crazy. But look at the VA. Does, does the VA resemble crazy honor and care? The VA is a joke. Our soldiers and, and, our, and our, our people who, who serve and, 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 and go out there with a mind to protect this country but are used, you know, for other reasons. They go there and they leave with more stuff than they came in with. And it's not an accident because it's been like this for years. The VA is a joke. And it's by design. They don't give a damn about you whether you're an average American or whether you shed blood for this country. Obama doesn't give a damn. Clinton didn't give a damn, Bush didn't give a damn. That's why the VA is garbage. That's why it's trash. And that's why it needs to be fixed. But it's not gonna be fixed. <laughs> and then of course, you <laughs> it lets you wanna you know, go home and, and get take a little edge off with some drugs. That drug better be FDA approved. We can't pick a wedgie without the NSA in it, <laughs> recording and knowing exactly what we're doing and then sending us off to jail. But, you know, at banks and, and whatever they can do, whatever they want to gamble with our money, they get our money for bailouts. And it's no problem. They can launder money for Al-Qaeda, for Al-Qaeda, but it's no problem. To fight the FCC's stupid decision, the, uh, a lot of petitions are going around. I'm sure you guys have seen a couple. One is getting them to change their vote. You know, another is forcing them to step down. Guys, you got to realize these, these things will not fix the problem. These are temporary band-aids. To get them to change their vote, look at SOPA. How many times did SOPA and CISPA come back? And how many times is it going to come back again with different language? All they do is change the language and, and, and resubmit it. More and more dubious and more and more you know, obscure so we can understand it with crazy language in it. That's what's going to happen if you get them to change their vote. Forcing Wheeler to step down, that's not going to help us because they're just going to get somebody else with the same interest to come in and do the same exact thing. Guys, if we want change, if we want this thing to finally help us, our choices are very simple. There are two of them. We get out in the streets. We make a big fuss and ruckus. We stop them from being able to do, from being able to just carry on as usual. That's the only way. That's what the 60s were doing. That's what the 60s had it right. Guys, politicians will not help us. If you wait for them, you're waiting for Santa Claus to slide down your chimney and give you an Xbox. It ain't happening. Forget that. Option two is to use your money. Don't Pay these people that are ripping you off. Cancel your Comcast. Cancel your Verizon. And we, yo, listen. Uh, <laughs> we need to get in Mexico. They uh, a lot of a lot of um, uh, smaller villages or whatever were being ignored by 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 uh, their larger internet ser service providers. These people went and made their own service. We can do. We have everything we need. If Mexico Mexico can fight it, then we can fight it. Guys, it's not gonna. It's not going to change by itself, and we, if we rely on politicians, it's, it's never going to be fixed. I, I, the FCC, man, <laughs> that this whole thing just pissed me off so much. I had to make a video, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think should be done. It's your boy Godhand. I'm pissed off, but I'm out.